So, paano mag-install ng Microsoft Office 2024 this year 2025? So, straight to the point na tayo. So, dito sa desktop, mag-create ka ng new folder. And then, in-name mo siya as Office 2024. Then, after that, uh, punta ka dun sa yung uh, preferred browser. And then, isearch mo dyan yung Office Deployment Tool. So, ita-download natin yung isang executable na part ng pag install ng Office 2024. So, ito yung link. And then, meron dyang download option. So, click mo lang yung download. And then, ito na yung Office Deployment Tool. So, open up mo siya. So, mapupunta siya sa download folder. Uh, Right-click and then run as administrator. Then, after that, meron ditong uh, terms. Just click continue. And then, uh, i-browse mo siya or extract mo siya doon sa desktop. And then, doon sa Office 2024 na folder. Click OK. And then, yan. Meron dyang message. Successfully extracted. And then, minimize mo tong uh, browser. And then, this folder. Then, makikita mo siya na na-extract na siya dito sa folder na Office 2024. So, meron, siya, meron ditong configuration.xml na... Default. So, i-delete mo lang siya. And then, uh, minimize this uh, folder. Go back pa dun sa Google Chrome. Add new tab. And then, search mo naman Office Customization Tool. So, click mo yung first entry sa search. So, ito na yung portal ng Office Customization Tool. So, dito sa architecture, ang isa-select mo dyan ay 64-bit. So, yan yung unang option. So, click mo lang 64-bit. And then, sa Office Suites, of course, uh, bipiliin natin yung Office LTSC Professional Plus 2024. And then, dito sa baba, meron dyang Visio and Project. Kung kailangan mo yan, i-select mo. Kung hindi, keep, at, keep it as blank. And then, uh, under that, meron dyang option na uh, app. So, dito naman, isa-select mo yung mga apps na kailangan mo. So, dito sa ating tutorial, so, yung main apps lang yung install natin, which is PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. Dito naman sa language, uh, select mo lang English United States, and then click Next. And then, scroll down, uh, hit Next. Scroll down ulit, may makikita kang upgrade option, so i-disable mo tong upgrade option. And then scroll down, click next. Scroll down ulit, until makita mo yung uh, next button. So ito naman, naka-default lang yan. So click next, Is under general, uh, click next ulit. Then finally, click mo yung finish button to finish the customized installer. So, after that, click mo yung export and then select mo yung Office Open XML Formats. Click OK and then accept the terms, the file name, make sure it's configuration and then click on export. Mapupunta ulit siya sa download folder. So, i-right click mo lang siya. It's either uh, i-cut or i-copy mo siya. So, i-cut na lang natin. Then, go back tayo dun sa desktop kung saan nakalagay yung ating Office 2024 folder. So, open natin ito and then paste it here. So, bali may dalawa na dyang file, isang configuration and isang setup file. So, ang sunod natin gagawin, mag-open tayo ng command prompt. So, type cmd and make sure nyo dito na run as administrator. Kasi kung hindi, mag-error siya during installation. So, after that, may lalabas na black screen or yung command prompt. Dito sa command prompt, kailangan natin yung path kung saan nakalagay yung ating installer. So, ito yung path. So, highlight and copy. Go back sa command prompt. I-type mo dyan cd or change directory space and then right click mo siya or i-paste mo siya dito yung path. So, yan. Nandun na, nandun na tayo sa loob ng path. So, ita-type natin itong script para mag-start na yung installation ng ating Microsoft Office 2024. So, ito yung script, setup, configuration.xml, space, forward slash, configure. So, once you hit enter, immediately mag-start na yung installation ng ating Microsoft Office 2024. So, wait natin ng mga 
10 to 15 minutes depende sa capacity and speed ng iyong computer or laptop. So after few minutes na pag-install, so yan, malapit na matapos yung ating installation. So yan, nakalagay, you're all set. And then pwede natin siyang i-close. And that's it. So pwede na natin i-try yung ating Word application. So ito yung Word. Open up a blank document. So it's working fine. And then we can try the Excel also. So open up an Excel working fine as well and then lastly the PowerPoint so now you can use this application so I hope you find this video helpful so salamat sa panonood and don't forget to like comment and subscribe sa ating YouTube channel